One more. One more. Amen. Amen. Someone mentioned said he should have been dead. Long time ago. Yeah. But he ain't one more. One more. One more. One more. Thank you, Father. What a mighty God. We sing. Yes. 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 What a mighty God. Oh, thank you, Lord. We are honored. We are pleased. We are able to stand and claim the glory. Yes. Tell the story. That somebody somewhere would you turn their life around and give it to God? What more? What more? We want to touch base with you this morning. From the book of 1 Chronicles, the 17th chapter. First Chronicles. Seventeenth chapter. First Chronicles, seventeenth chapter. First Chronicles, the seventeenth chapter. Amen. 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 Eighteenth verse. Amen. First Chronicles, seventeenth chapter. Begin with eighteenth verse. What more can David say to you for the honor of your servant? For you know your servant. O oh Lord, for your servant's sake, according to your own heart, you have done this greatness in making known all these great things. O oh Lord, there is none like you, nor is there any God besides you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. We want to bring your attention to that 20th verse. Mm -hmm. There is none like you. Amen. Subject, who else but you? Amen. Who else right. but you? When you look at the subject line itself. Who else but God has done what he has done for you? Amen. Someone once mentioned and said we are a self-made man. I differ this morning. Everything that you have, everything that you have acquired, God gave it. Amen. Even the hard times you went through, God gave it. There are times when God has to lead you in the battle. But he's letting you know even though you're in the battle. Put not your faith nor your trust in man. Put it in me. And when you look around and you begin to see all that your friends have said to you, many of them said to you, I got your back. Mm -hmm. I'll be with you until the end of time. But as you progress in age, you found out that they lie. Amen. Some intentionally and some not. Because God has a way of dealing with you and I when he says, Quickly, I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God. Amen. In other words, nobody, nobody is going to receive my glory. Amen. It's mine and mine's all over. Mm -hmm. David, 
and the country is at rest at this time. David has decided that he now will build a house for the Lord. David is reflecting on what God has done for him. God has now given David a kingship. He has built David a magnificent house. He's given David a throne. He's given David riches beyond compare. And David now looks at all that God has done for him. Has anybody looked lately? Amen. And David now begins to consider all that I have. All that has been given to me, God did. God did. David had many enemies. But now his enemies are subdued at his feet. God has raised David above his enemies. And the word simply says, even when your enemy knows he's your enemy, but when he sees the love of God in your life, God will make you enemy. So who is doing that? Somebody ain't getting that. So you can talk about me. That's fine with me. You can say nasty things about me. I've come to the conclusion it doesn't bother me. You don't pay me. You don't owe me. So therefore, I need not waste time on you. Amen. I need to be about my father's business. Amen. Are you listening to me? The more you talk, the more I'm going to talk. The difference is I'm going to talk about you for my needs. But I got back up. Amen. Amen. I come to the conclusion there's some things I can't control. I take control of what you do. You are not to let you know I'm grown. But God has a way of knocking grown folks down. Amen. 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 David has seen his enemies being bewildered, envious. And he says to himself, God has done so much for me. I'm going to do something now for God. But David was thinking on the human side. Are right. you listening to me? Yes. Amen. 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 What house can David build? The field of the Lord. Since God is everywhere. Amen. Where can God preside? But David understands this. And God, as he began to do what he's going to do, he tells David, in essence, David, you cannot build my house. Because of your history. Even though I love you, care for you, you cannot build my house. I thank you for your thoughts. But he would tell David, I will let your son build me a temple. All right, all right. But even, even when he builds me a temple, the temple can't contain me. Right. Right, listen to me. But to let you know that I heard your cry, uh -huh. I'm going to do something special. Okay. David looks at the Lord. What is it that you're going to do? The Lord simply says, I'm going to put my name on it. <laughs> Anybody here got the name on it? Amen. So you knew the Lord to the Lord right. that he got his name yes. on you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's why I can talk like I talk. Mm -hmm. Amen. Point number one. What do you believe in? What do you believe in? What is the source of your belief. Why do you believe as you do believe? And secondly, do you believe in prayer? What is your source of belief? Who do you believe in? Man is three dimensional mind, body, soul. God is three dimensional Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Man 
needs somebody, something to worship. This is why we have so many idols. Because man is compelled, because he is a spiritual being, he must worship. We worship our cause. We worship football games. We worship our wives and our children and our husbands. God is steady telling you, no. Thou shalt not have any God before me. Do you not realize that it was I who gave you your wife, your husband, that house, that car, that job? What do you believe in? Or two? Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Why do you believe in it? Now here's a question I want you to ask yourself. Out loud. Do you do as it states? Say it again. Do you do as it states? Mm -hmm. See, we have an understanding. We love it when we hear God go bless us. We forget God makes a requirement. If you want to be blessed and highly favored, then you got to have a connection yeah. with the man of God. Yeah. God's going to bless you because you are his child. Yeah. Whether you saved or unsaved. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. But there is another part that you got to come up with. Because if you believe the Bible, then you should know for a fact that that's God's word. Yeah. Do you follow God's word? Right. See, many times people like to fool me. They come in with these big Bibles. Shiny bottles. Got these nice labels on them. Well protected. And then they go home and they put the nice bottle with a shiny label on the shelf. Some even say, I done had my church today. I don't need to read no more. Do you believe the Bible? Someone said the same elegant is just a little talk with Jesus. Every now and then we need a little talk with Jesus. Do you do that in states? Do you believe in the promises that he states? Yes. Do you believe this? Number three. Look at the 
this thing. We have to understand that Jesus Christ is both the Word of God and He is God. Revelation puts a point to us. It says in Revelation 19 and 13, it says, He wears clothes dipped in blood, and His name is the Word of God. His name is the Word of God. Whatever my word goes forth, it shall not come back. Boy, whatever I send it to do, Tell them this morning of thy nation that death is not the end of life. It's the beginning. For you shall open your eyes and you must give an accountability of everything you did in this life. Jesus says to me, there are many who say to me, you are Lord, but I don't know you. What do you mean you didn't know me? I went to church so many years. A faithful dad in the church. I went every Sunday. But going to church every Sunday do not save you. Amen. Will not save you. Until you accept the Lord as your Lord and Savior. Until you accept Jesus in your life. Yes. You're done. You're done. Many people miss coat. Because they're searching and seeking after the wrong thing. That Jesus is also the servant of God. Isaiah 42. 1 through 4, he said, He is my servant whom I support. He is my chosen one whom I am pleased. I have put my spirit in him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not cry out or raise his voice. He will not make his voice heard in the streets. He will not break the damage of cattail. He will not even put on a smoking roof. He will, he will faithfully bring justice. He will not be discouraged or cruised until he has set up his justice in the earth. The coastline will wait for his teaching. God desires none to make. <coughs> Another day is given you for you to get to a house and get over. The day when you hear my voice, part of my charge. First of all, they are unsearchable riches of Christ. We cannot even magnify his true greatness or speak honorable of them. David is reflected on God. God has given him so much. Many of you in here can remember when you had to go to the bathroom in the outhouse. But I gotta go back in a little bit. Get up in the middle of the night. Don't talk about turning those lights. And feel your way to the house. And I used to say to myself, pray to God, don't let me fall in. <laughs> I was a city boy and I go visit people who was in the country. And I figured out, figured out how they would have it like that. Because city folks had bathrooms in the house. <laughs> or some of y'all don't know what y'all about. <laughs> and you didn't want to go to them places because they were country people. Mm -hmm. But they had a way of saying things to you to get you an understanding. Look where God Cheaper. Amen. Now we got what we call dim lights. <laughs> we got what we call uh, uh, what the things come over the light when you walk around. Motion, motion, motion lights. <laughs> uh -huh. So you don't fall and bump your toes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You got what we call microwave toaster ovens. <laughs> Some of you cooking stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> Crock pots. Uh -huh. When I remember the big black stove yeah, with the three burners, and you had to take the old poker and grab that thing and shake it inside and get it going. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, somebody, 
what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> we have what we call the fireplace. Right. Somebody had to chop the wood Amen. to put it in the fireplace. My wife, she, you know, Briggs, <laughs> said to me, baby, when we buy the house, we're going to get a fireplace. <laughs> I looked at her in true amazement with love in my eyes. And I said, no, no, no. There'll be no fireplace in this house. I ain't cutting no more wood. <laughs> Come on, somebody. We have what we call quilts. One time you put on the clips. Now we got ego. <laughs> Just the temperature in the house. All we do is complain about how big the bill is. Amen. And yet, we still don't have enough. God has given you a job. You call it crooked. But it was not crooked when you was putting it off. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. We have so much to be thankful for. Amen. Imagine and look in your life when people told you you were going to get what you were going to get. But God said, no, no, no. You don't mess with my children. When they close doors in your face, God opened the door. Amen. Who else? But God. David had full admiration. He wants to give back to God. But God is telling us this morning, all I want from you is your total obedience, commitment, obedience. All I want from you is your commitment. All I need from you is what you give back. I don't know about you this morning, but I owe God a praise. Amen. Yeah, I can't talk and say where God has brought you from, but I know where God has brought me from. Who else could have brought me from the streets to where I am today? Nobody else but God. Nothing was stronger than his mercy and his grace. Many friends I had grew up with I closed their eyes. But he allowed my time. I'm not talking about your time. He allowed my time Amen. to roll on this little by little. Amen. Thank you, Lord. David ascribed all the free graces of God. Both the great things he had done for it and the great things he has no knowledge of. God has done things for you that you have no knowledge of. All oh, you know that you have put in there. Isn't it wonderful when God said, when you say, God, order my steps. And uh, somebody will be with me this morning. Because when you order my steps, no matter where I'm going, it's going to be all right. Amen. When you order my steps, who else but God can guarantee you these steps? God simply tells us. Even in the loneliness of times, I'm right there for you. In your good times, I'm right there for you. I'm always reminded of the footprints in the sand. Can I get a witness this morning? The man cried out to God, I accepted you as my Lord and Savior. But I realized that when hard times fell on me, there was only one set of prints in the sand. Where were you then, Lord? The Lord said, I said to him, Oh, my son, yeah. when you were going through those things, yes. when you didn't see no way out, yes. I was carrying you. Yes. Somebody else was going to talk about yes. who asked for God. Yes. I've done for God and done for you. Yes. Some of you in here should understand me this morning. Yes. The doctor's still shaking their head. Why are you still here? Amen. Who else but God? First of all, when we look at this thing, John 15, I'm going to get on out of here. John 15 says these words If the world hates you, 
realize that he hated me before he hated you. If you have anything in common with this world, the world would love you as one of its own. But you don't have anything in common with this world. I chose you from the world. Come on, somebody. Look at somebody and say, he chose me. Hello, somebody. He chose me. And that's why the world hates you. Jesus says, simply, you didn't choose me. But I chose you. I knew who you were. When I put you in your mother's womb. Yes. I knew what you was. Yes. When I put you in your mother's womb. Yes. Who else but God can tell you your inner thoughts? Yes. Who else but God can do things that you've seen done? Yes. First of all, who else can put up with you? <laughs> Let go. Oh, I wish I had a witness this morning. Amen. Everybody looking around like, oh, I'm easy to get along with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, baby. We all even got some faults. Amen. Some of our false works and other people's faults. Amen. Sometimes we wear our feelings on our sleeve. Yes. But God simply looks at us and he carefully tells us it's okay. Yeah. I know you got problems. Amen. Look at somebody say, I got problems. I got problems. Mm -hmm. See, I ain't got to put on those crazy faces. Are you listening to me? Yeah. I know I got problems. Yeah. Amen. There's some time when I can't stand myself. Amen. Yeah. I know I got problems. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Sometimes I just wake up wrong. <laughs> Uh-huh, y'all act like y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Who else can put up with you? When your wife can look at you and shake her head. Help me, all he can do is say, Lord, help me. Who else but God can put up with you? Then he tells you, I love you. You're my child. He's the one that wipes your eyes. In time of moaning. Yeah. Tell you moaning may weep for a while. Yeah. But don't worry about it. Because joy is coming in the morning. Yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But all is that my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. Come on, somebody. And then even in the midst of all trials and tribulation, I got the whole world in the palm of my hand. Not even a hummingbird falls, and I don't know about it. Amen. I'm God, and I'm God all about myself. First of all, who else but God? Who else but God? First of all, we got to look, and He said elegantly to us, "Oh, I'll stand at the door and knock. If anyone here." That knock and open up the door. Yes. I come in the sun. Yes. Can I get a witness this morning? Yes. Not only that, but who can you compare me to? <laughs> who enlightened me? Somebody said I look high, look low. But the Lord said I'm too high, can't go over me. Too low, can't go under me. Too high. Can't go around me. You gotta come in. I wish I had a witness this morning. Yeah. Amen. I feel like David now. Yeah. Well, Lord, you great. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. You brought me yeah. my long way. Yeah. Nobody but you. Yeah. You kept me yeah. safe from all of my enemies. Yeah. When times were hard, can I get a witness this morning? You rescued me with my enemy thought they had me. It was you who rescued me. No mind! But you, Lord, when the doctor shook his head, you helped me up. When everybody had sick me, everybody had left me, you were right there. No mind! But you, Lord, who else? Who else? Who else? Can I call one? Who else? 
Can I talk to it? Who else? Who else knows me? Better than I know myself. Who else? Nobody. But God. It was a wonderful thing. He can break it down to the last degree. I know I've been hurt. You got what I mean. That's how well I know you. I know you that well. I know when you sneak off, do the things you don't supposed to do. I saw you. But here's the thing about it. All you got to do is come on back home. Amen. Say you're sorry. You ain't got to tell everybody your business. And I love this thing here. When you talk to God, he don't tell nobody else. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Nobody else. Who else but God can do what he did? Who else could have gone to the cross? Who else could have nailed to that cross? Nobody. Nobody. But him. Who else? So this morning he says to you, when you think you got it bad, Look around you. Yeah. Somebody got to work off the dead. Amen. No matter how many people we feed, somebody's still hungry. Amen. No matter how many clothes we give away, somebody's still without clothes. Amen. You ought to be thankful this morning yes. that God has blessed you the way He has. Amen. When you start complaining, you need to lift your face, Amen. lift up your eyes. And tell God, thank you. Amen. Somebody else. See, I tell folks before me. You ain't got to praise God for me. Amen. I feel like James Brown now. <laughs> you ain't got to give me nothing. Amen. Over the dump. I get it myself. Amen. Are you listening to me? Nobody asks for God. They give you that authority. When you walk, walk with your head right. Amen. Don't let the devil think he defeated you. Yes, you are more than a conqueror. Yes. Look at somebody and say, I'm a conqueror. I'm I'm a Come on, somebody. I got the devil under my feet. Amen. Are you listening to me? Speak and let it be known. Amen. Let me get one out of here. That's all right. Amen. Amen. Who is? But you, Lord. Who else? We open the doors. We look around. For those who are watching by media, this is an opportunity for you to reflect. You ain't the only game, baby. We done played that game. You ain't the only player. We done played that game too. But God has a way of changing. But all you got to do is say, I want to change. He'll come into your life. Make a difference. And if you need him, pray this prayer with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned and fell short of your glory. Now, Father God, clean me up. Use me the way you see fit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Who else? But God. Who else? 